this one is just a neutral, I don't know how to say it, you know, um, it is just, so this. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, I'm Shirley, if you're new, and in today's video we're going to be talking about my winter essentials, especially living in New York City where it gets really cold in the winter. So yeah, I lived in New York City my whole life, so I can, so I'm kind of used to the weather changes and all the seasons throughout, but when it comes to winter it gets really cold, and especially this past week where the weather has been 10 degrees Fahrenheit, which is absolutely freezing, so I thought I would share with you guys some of the things that I would wear to keep warm, but also be stylish at the same time. Kind of building a capsule wardrobe so you can mix and match so many different pieces to kind of get the look that you want. I'm very, I'm someone who's into neutral. I don't wear much colors. Mainly my wardrobe is either black, white, or cream. Uh, you hardly would ever see me wear something that's not those colors. But yeah, so let's get started to the video. A main winter essential is obviously a jacket. You really need a jacket to keep warm here in New York. And one of the main things that I like to wear are wool coats. I think they fit my body shape really well. And I just like wearing it and it's like a long coat. So it's the bottom half of my body really warm. I wear three different wool coats, uh, kind of like a different color palette. So this one is more of a lighter cream. And then I have a camo coat. And then I have a black one. So. They only wear these coats when I'm trying to dress up an outfit because they really do dress up an outfit. Or if you want to dress it down, you could always like wear a hoodie underneath and kind of just layer on this top. You can really go both ways with this one. And then in New York, it gets really cold, so everything that you always need a puffer coat. I have two super puffs to keep me really warm in the winter. They're really great to style with, especially since I have more of a neutral tone as well as a black one. You can't live in New York City without a black puffer. It's an absolute must. With the shorty, it doesn't really keep your bottom half warm, but it does do a really great job keeping your top half warm, so highly recommend getting yourself a puffer jacket. So when it gets really cold, like if I'm doing any like snow activities, I definitely need a longer puffer. So this one I have is up from Vince Comedo. Could really go great with it. And yeah. So here I just have some sweaters that I would normally wear. I think a really key thing is just having your basic sweaters. So especially in New York, it gets really cold. So I really like wearing kind of turtlenecks and mock necks and also crew necks. So, here I just have like a bunch of sweaters that I kind of alternate in between. I do have some other sweaters too that I wear, but these are the main ones that I really gravitate towards. I think a really key note in purchasing sweaters is kind of like see what fits your style. The first I have is kind of just a crew neck sweater in just white. I think, I think everyone in the closet should have a white sweater just because you can kind of wear this and layer it with so many different options. I'm also really big on turtlenecks just because they keep the neck warm. So I have a gray color, like a light gray here. And then I also just purchased this one. This one is just a neutral turtleneck. -ish. I also like to have thin sweaters too just because when you're layering, sometimes thick layers can be a little bit too much for me personally. So I have two sweaters that are very thin. As you can see, they're like very thin material. So the first I have is from Oakenfort. It's just a v-neck in this taupe cream color. I'm really bad with the colors but like you guys can see the colors and then I have a mock neck sweater it's very lightweight so it goes perfect if I really want to wear like a thick jacket and then on days where I just want to be really comfortable hoodies are a great way a great way to do that now these are the two that I really alternate between especially in the winter if I want to be stylish I'm I'm a sucker for white clothes like white is my favorite color to wear as you guys can see uh, this one I got when I was traveling in Rome no I got this where did I get this I got this in Venice when I went to Venice and then also I, this one is from Maurizio the cozy one if you guys really want a thick hoodie that keeps you just warm definitely try out the Aritzia Cody line. It is absolutely amazing. For bottoms I really just really alternate between jeans trousers and leggings three that i really wear are kind of the white one and then we have a 
light blue one and then we also have a black one you don't need to have every single color jeans that you have just stick to some basic ones and you can always just alternate so these are the three that i always alternate in between they go really great with basically anything because they're such neutral colors recently i've been starting to get more into trousers i used to work in the office so trousers would just be something that i wore all the time so I kind of got sick of it and of course I have like my work trousers but for more for you know going out and not going to work and just more casual wear I've been getting really into trousers especially like the wide-legged ones I got this one this one is from Everlane it's kind of like a pleated trousers and then I have this one this mother is more of a cream style color and it's a lot it's very wide leg if you guys can see it's like um very wide leg on days where I just want to be incognito and just be really comfortable, I always either wear joggers or leggings. Um, my favorite pairs are the Ritzia TNA ones. The if you guys are shopping for sweats, check out the men's section and I promise it is life changing. A way to really dress up an outfit is really just the accessories that you pair with it. So like, yeah, you can wear a sweater, you can wear a pair of jeans and a jacket, but I really think it's the accessories that really tie an outfit together and just keep you warm in general. So I have two blanket scarves. So this is the cream blanket scarf with different colors, you know, just poking out. Like here you have some camo. And then like also, there's also some gray as well, is if you don't want to buy too many scarves, you can definitely find the ones that are two-tone. Um, so this one is from Star, it's two-tone, so here you can see it's just like a, a white cream coat, oh wait, a white cream scarf, but on the other side, it's going to be more of a cooler tone, so definitely recommend the ones with two-tone because you can really go either way with it. And so here I just have two regular scarves. They, they're not as big as the blanket scarves, but it still keeps you really warm. And I have two colors. I have a camel one and I have a black one. Now it's showing up really yellow in color, but it's more of like a darker brown camel color. And another great thing to really just keep your body warm are hats. So I have two hats that I mainly wear. Um, I'm not a hat person. I don't like the feeling of my hat, my head like being smushed. But on days when it's really cold, you sometimes just need a hat. On like casual days where I just want to be comfortable or anything, I kind of just have a white baseball cap. Now, although this is not like a winter hat, um, it still does a job of keeping your head really warm because it's trapping the air in your head. So yeah, just like really nice. This hat is kind of like a splurge, especially for someone who doesn't wear hats. I, so this one, it's really thick. So this one is from Acne Studios. You can just see how thick it is. Like, it's really thick and it keeps your head so warm. For shoes, first pair of shoes that I always wear are my white shoes, my white tennis shoes. These are from Kenneth Co. You guys can probably see it all over my Instagram. I love these shoes. It's so comfortable. And yeah, just everybody just needs like a basic white Converse. I mean, basic white tennis shoes. Like, I love these. They're so comfortable. And they just, they're so cute. The next pair of shoes that I wear all the time are my Ugg Tasman slippers. Can we just talk about how Uggs just randomly came back in style? Like, it's so trendy now. And I'm just like, no need to buy new Uggs because... I already have them. Um, these are my errands shoes. Of course, everyone needs a pair of black booties. Now these are from these are from Everlane. They are the perfect black booty for me. I love these. Um, yeah, not much you can say. You can really just dress up an outfit with this. And sometimes when it gets like really cold and you just really want to be stylish but also keep your legs warm. I wear my Stuart Weitzman's, so these are tall, they come up to my knee, they're like knee-high boots. When it's like snowing or cold because of the snow turns into ice and the floor gets really slippery, you really need a good pair of boots. Now mine are from Timberlands, and they're just, you know, boots. And these are all the pieces that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis, kind of just like alternating them and kind of just changing it up to get different styles and also staying warm in the winter and if you guys want to see how these pieces are styled follow my instagram for more because i do post get ready with me and 
outfit photos. If you guys have any questions for me, leave them down in the comment section below. And if you guys like this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye guys! The school bus outside. I don't know what you're doing, but you're messing my video.